guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Haley, and today I have quite the haul for you guys. So I did some damage during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, Cyber Month sort of sales. I feel like Black Friday kind of started like at the beginning of November this year. It was a little bit insane, but the sales... The sales were good and I did some shopping. I have, I really have a huge haul for you guys today, so I'm gonna try to speed through this. Um, I will be doing a try on of a handful of items. Some items I got didn't work out. We do have some misses, some returns in this haul, um, and I will talk about that as I go through everything, of course. I mostly bought clothes. Um, I do have a few, like, little random things in here, but my main goal was to get jeans and coats, and I did get a few of those things, but I also got a bunch of random other nonsense so anyways without further ado let's get started i'm kind of going to go through this without any rhyme or reason um everything that i got i just kind of condensed into two boxes instead of like five thousand that i had to like rip up and go through um so everything's kind of like all over the place we're just gonna do it that way. As always, I will have everything that I talk about and mention in today's video in the description box below. So if you see anything, you're eyeballing, check it out. So the first thing I got is this puffer jacket from Francesca's. This was $30, you guys. What a steal. Puffer jackets are so expensive right now. So I was so excited when I found this because one of the things that was on my list, my shopping list, was a puffer jacket. I actually have two that I found in this haul, but this one was $30, which I thought was amazing. It's super duper warm. I actually almost passed out wearing it yesterday because it's not quite that cold in Texas and this keeps you nice and cozy. Has like the fur lining on the hood. Um, the fur is not all throughout. You guys can see but it is so cozy it's like a nice neutral color it has like these zip detailings on the sides as well i just thought it was such a good find <laughs> i'm obsessed you will see her all over instagram i'm sure because i feel like i'm going to wear the crap out of this during the winter months coming up it's just it's perfect it's such a good everyday little puffer i did get one more thing from francesca's it's a little bit ridiculous it's these wine bottle straws they're like sparkly and pink and really cute it fits the standard wine bottle i just kind of thought this was hilarious it was literally a dollar how could i not it's just like a fun thing to pull out for a girl's night maybe give to a friend as like a gag gift for christmas a white elephant gift like it's just it's funny i wanted it it was a dollar I have no regrets. This is a great purchase. Moving on to some things I got from ASOS. You guys know I'm a huge fan of ASOS. I feel like they always have really, really good sales. So I got this really cute little like sage green crop sweater. I love this color so much. And I found this for like 16 bucks, which I thought was good. It's like a nice little basic to have for the season. I like the sleeves on this a lot. It has like a little bit of a wider sleeve. The crop is perfect on this. I wear a lot of like high-waisted mom jeans jeans and like sometimes like my big baggy sweaters like this look a little a little frumpy you know so sometimes it's nice to throw on a little little cropped one like this and I just again I really love the color so this was a good find so I got a lot of pants in this haul um, a lot of them actually did not work out I'm only keeping like two of them and I swear I bought like seven um, but this one is a keep this is also from ASOS they are reclaimed vintage i just really like the tone of them it's like a carpenter sort of pant but they fit like a nice little mom jean i just i don't know i was looking for more of like neutral denim instead of wearing blue jeans all the time so i really like this and i'm 5'2 and these come perfectly at my ankles which is hard to find in pants so i was really excited about these they look really cute rolled up or just like straight leg and yeah i love them this next one i was so stoked about you guys the color on this is so pretty it's like the perfect lilac shade again i've been wanting some puffers so i was on the lookout this one is really cute it's a little bit cropped the other one's a little bit longer um this one sits like right at like my hips like if i'm wearing mom jeans again it comes up like right to like where the high waist band is um it's really really cute it's warm as well this one I ended up getting for like 65. I don't remember how much 
it was before the sale. Um, I think that it was only like 15 to 20% off. It wasn't anything crazy, but I just fell in love with the color. I thought it was a good one. I feel like I'm gonna wear this one a lot, so get used to seeing it. This next one was kind of random, and I wasn't sure about it when I ordered it, or even when it arrived, like looking at it, I was like, uh, I don't know. This one was $29. It wasn't part of any of the sales. This is also from ASOS. But I really have been wanting like some more tennis skirt sort of things and this had like a similar vibe. It's the pastel pink. I was like this will be really really cute in like springtime. I don't know. So I just kind of I went for it and it's very cute on you guys. I'm obsessed. I'm really glad I got this one. It's actually one of my favorite pieces from the haul and I can't wait to be able to like actually wear it. But it's very cute. It's a little bit more of like a thinner material skirt it's not like super see-through but like if you were wearing black underwear like it's a little see-through um but i just really like the fit of this skirt and i'm excited to wear it okay come on how was i supposed to say no to these adorable socks these were like six bucks they're just too cute i love them i love wearing like these fun sort of socks with like chunky sneakers i don't know i feel like it jazzes everything up a little bit and they were just so so precious. Okay, I do have more like ASO stuff, but as I mentioned, everything's kind of like all over the place. So moving into some, <laughs> let me zip these up. Okay, there we go. Moving into some jeans that I got. These are from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters had like a buy one, get one 50% off sort of sale. So I took the opportunity and I bought a ton of jeans that I've been eyeballing from them. Um, only two of them worked out. So this is one of them. These I'm obsessed with. They are a little bit distressed at the knees and flared at the bottoms. That's right, the flared jeans, they are back better than ever. Um, I'm loving them. These are very, very cute. If you are looking for something slightly flared at the bottoms, a little bit of distressing, this like nice little wash, highly recommend. These are so good. This is the brand BD. G. What? Why was it so hard to say? BD, BD, <laughs> BDG? Jeez, okay, what the hell just happened? Um, anyways, I bought a ton of pants from the same brand and I got a 28 in these. Normally I'm a 27. A lot of the reviews said to size up, so I did, and this is the only one that worked out for me. So I don't know, their sizing was kind of weird. The lengths like really varied with this brand. I've never bought jeans from them before, so I didn't know what to expect. So these I'm in love with. <laughs> so some jeans that didn't work out include these and I was really bummed about them because I follow a ton of girls on Instagram that are always wearing these exact pants and they look adorable in them. They're all like very tiny girls and I, I have a little bit more hip, a little bit more thigh action going on for me. Um, so I bought them. These are the high rise baggy and they just they do not look good. They are not flattering. They are like baggy all the way down, which when you are a little bit like, you know, like a little bit more hippie, <laughs> um, sometimes it could just make you look frumpy a little like, it's just not super flattering all the time. So these, I just really did not love the fit on me. And also I did get a 27 in these and the waist was super tight as well. So um, these did not work out at all. And I was really sad. Same thing with these, same brand and everything, um, except I did get a 28 in these. The waist fit a lot better on these, um, but again, it was just way too baggy. You can kind of see a little bit here. Um, it had distressing on the one knee and a little bit on the butt, and they just look so cute on everyone else, but it was not flattering on me at all. It just, it just made me look frumpy, you know what I mean? So... It was not trendy and stylish on me, um, so I will be returning them. <laughs> Next up are these Adidas track pants. I've been wanting some little track pants from Adidas for a while. Just something to hang around the house in and run errands in. I tend to wear leggings with like everything. It's just like big sweatshirt, leggings, and like right now it's high top Converse, but like any sort of like sneakers and I'm out the door. That's like the daily uniform. So I was trying to mix it up, get some new pants. These were on sale. Adidas pants are so freaking expensive, you guys. These are normally like 72 um, and they were on sale for 41. So I was like, you know what? I'm going for them. These ones are not flared at the bottom, just like a 
straight leg it's just like a regular track pant um when i played soccer i like basically lived in these sort of pants so it was kind of a little bit nostalgic i was like Ugh, i feel good in these pants um they have the little zipper pockets and you know it's cute nothing more to say i think these are still on sale so if you are looking for some like this snag them while they're on sale okay this one i didn't open i guess i will so i can show you um, but I ordered this beanie. It was like five bucks. Um, I just needed like a plain gray beanie and I guess the picture didn't really like show it well. I thought the font was like a light uh, gray, but it's lime green and it just like it wasn't the vibe that I was going for because I wanted to wear this with like a lot of things and like the lime green like throws it off. So I was going to return this. That's why I didn't take it out, but you can see it's still really cute. I think this one is also still on sale for like five, six bucks. Um, it's a cute beanie. It's just not the vibe that I was going for. So I'm still on the hunt for like a good basic beanie. Sealed her up. So I got this big, like, I didn't even know what this is, like maybe a wool, you guys can kind of see in the material. Um, this big coat from ASOS, it's a little bit boxy on me, so I'm still like on the fence if I want to keep it or return it, but um, it's super duper warm, it's really cute, I really do like the material of it, um, and I've been looking for something like this, like just a nice winter coat, you know, I don't really have coats, I guess, because I live in Texas, you know, I don't really... I don't know but anyways I was looking for a nice coat and this one was very nice this was on sale for like 65 ish um, so still a little bit expensive but Jesus coats are expensive you guys I'm like still on the hunt looking for some and I found some pretty cheap on a pretty little thing you know they always have like their 50% off but quality is what I'm concerned about this one is really good quality so I think it was definitely worth the 65 um, but I still don't know I think I might keep it I, it's real cute however a coat that I will be returning is this like canvas jacket again this is from ASOS kind of hard to show I'll show you it like when I try it on so you get a better feel for it um, it looked really cool on the model but it just it's so 80s on me it's just I don't know I feel like I'm on the set of like back to the future wearing this it's just not the vibe that I was going for I feel like it really could be cute if like styled correctly and everything but on me with like this like Farrah Fawcett hair that I have happening it just looked a little over the top <laughs> oh my gosh okay another return <laughs> I pulled these out to Hugo and he was like, are those toddler pants? Um, they actually, they stretch a lot. They did fit, but they are like that ribbed material. So again, when you have like bigger hips and thighs and like you have like the rib material, the lines get all crazy and stretched out and it's just, it's not flattering. It's really not cute. These are from the brand Pool and Bear. I did get them off ASOS. Um, they were like $26 on sale though, so I was anticipating something more like like a workout legging fit to them, not like a like a casual legging, I guess. I don't know. So that was my bad. I guess I didn't read it well enough, but yeah, needless to say, I will be returning these. <laughs> oh, a fun thing that I'm very excited about is the five minute journal. You guys have probably seen this all over social media. It is huge right now and I've only seen like the cream one that everybody has and Urban Outfitters had this really cute pink one. So I had to get it. This is normally $24.95. I got it for $18 so not a huge discount but a discount nonetheless. Um, this is just a really cute like kind of gratitude sort of journal. I'll give you a peek. Um, I haven't started using it yet and I can't wait. Everybody always talks about this and I've been wanting it for a while. So at the beginning of each day, you journal what you're grateful for, what would make today great, your daily affirmations, and then at night you list three amazing things that happened to you throughout the day um, and how you could have made the day even better. It's just like, again, like a gratitude journal. I feel like these sort of 
journals have been helping me a lot lately. Right now I'm just kind of journaling in one standard notebook. I'll show you the notebook I use. So right now I have this little notebook from Bandeau. It says I am very busy and I use this for everything. I have all of like my daily affirmations, what I'm grateful for, any of like the collabs or campaigns I'm working on. I put all of my notes in here and like deadlines and all that stuff. I like to keep everything in one place, but I'm realizing it makes everything a little bit chaotic. So now I'm just kind of using this for like work related stuff. I feel like it goes with the vibe. I'm very busy. And then I have my gratitude journal. And then one more thing I got recently is this bad boy. So this is a wellness planner. This is the coolest freaking planner, you guys. Um, I got this from Lulu's when I did my little Black Friday campaign with them. And this is one of the things I picked out and it is amazing. There is literally so much to do in this little planner. Um, in here, there's like a what to buy list. I have like my grocery list on here um, and then on the back it says what to make every day throughout the week for like breakfast lunch dinner etc I just think it's so nice and organized um, there's like a hydration tracker in here there's like little stickers to like mark everything off which I thought was really cool stuff about crystals self-love stuff like that fun stickers I love bando like journals and planners and stuff because they always include these little stickers um, stuff to watch. This one is really good. I always get tons of recommendations um, from like what to watch and check out from you guys. And right now I just have like the longest notes <laughs> in my iPhone. So this is very nice to like organize everything. Um, activities, some workout stuff in here, mind and body. It just is all about wellness and doing your best and feeling better, living a happier, healthier life. It's just so cute. This would also be like a really good gift, I think, for the holidays. Um, I don't know. I love it. Anyways, had to share. Sorry for sidetracking. Believe it or not, we have more jeans <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, these are also the same brand, BDG. Um, these I got a size 28. Again, I think that is my size in these sort of pants. That seems to fit my waist the best. But I really like the color of these and at the bottom, it's kind of hard to show you on camera, but they are like kind of distressed, you know, a little, a little beat up on the bottoms. I thought it was fun. And then they are distressed on the knees. But these did not work out because they are way too long on me and it just, I don't know, when they're flared, it's hard to make it work. So these didn't work out. I put them on. I put them on and Hugo was like, are you, are you keeping those? And I was like, oh shit, I guess not. <laughs> they, they look really ridiculous on. Um, and same with these. These were just too distressed. Like the hole was just gaping open. It was, it didn't work. It was not cute. These are the mom high rise and yeah, the holes were wild. My thighs were pouring out. It was, it was not a good look. Okay, another thing that I am returning, we have quite the amount of returns to make from this haul, but I had ordered this in the cream. You guys have probably seen the shirt like all over Instagram. I feel like every girl in the world owns this shirt. It's just cute. I, I ordered it in cream and they sent me the yellow. It's coming off like kind of cute on camera, I feel, but this is like yellow, yellow in person. It is, it's not cute. It really isn't. And it's huge. Next up, I have some boots. And when I ordered them and even when they came in, I was undecided about these as well. Um, I talked about it on Instagram. I did like a little try on haul on Instagram, I think last week. And I showed these, I was like, I don't know how I feel. You guys loved these boots. Um, I ended up wearing them out yesterday to walk around like downtown area and I love them. They're very comfortable. Yesterday I wore them with like those flared like yoga pants style that's back in, um, but it has like the slits on the side. You know what I'm talking about? They, they're like cut out on the side. Um, and so you could see the boots on the side. It was really cute. It was quite the look. Um, so I really like these. I wanted some white boots and I thought these were kind of fun. Um, and they are like a, what is this? Not like a PVC. What is this? I don't know. Um, like a rain boot material. So I don't know. Good for like this sort of season. <laughs> I think this is my last ASOS piece, but this one is really cute. Um, this is like a big oversized Hello Kitty pullover. This is from the New Girl Order collab. Um, and I just thought it was adorable. So on the side it says Hello Kitty. It's like a color blocked sweatshirt. On the back it has 
sweet little Hello Kitty. Very, very cute. And it's like that zip up pullover. So I thought this one was precious. It was normally priced at like 70 something dollars, which is a lot for a pullover. I got it for 36 and it's very comfortable. I love the colors. So I was really excited about this. Next, I have some shoes that I was so excited about. I did show these on Instagram, but I got the Nike Blazers. You guys, I'm so excited about these. I've had my eyes on them for a while and I finally took the plunge. Um, these are normally a hundred bucks, but I, a little fun hack for you guys, I always buy the big kid size in Nike because you save like 20 bucks and it's the same exact size. So a woman's seven is like a big kid's five and a half um, or like a boy's five and a half. And so I got these for 80 and then 25% off. So I only spent like 64 bucks or something on these, which was quite a steal. I haven't gotten a chance to wear these out yet, but they are so perfect. I'm so excited. One thing that I really have been meaning to do is like a sneaker collection on my channel. Um, I'm not like a sneaker head or anything, but I do, I do love a good sneaker, so. Thought it would be fun. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And the last things I have are from Urban Outfitters. So we can go through this pretty quickly. I kind of forgot to mention that I am wearing one of the things that I got during the Black Friday sale. This, oh, you guys, this sweater. I've been wanting for so long because again, every girl in the world has like this sweater from Urban Outfitters in like various colors and so I got the olive one, it's like this blue and green, but it is so soft and comfortable and like the perfect oversized fit that I, I feel like I need to buy more. <laughs> they have a bunch of different colors in this sweater and they're on sale still right now for like 25% off. So I think I'm gonna do it. I wanna get like the pink and orange one, but anyways. I got the bath, <laughs> I don't know how to say this brand, um, you know. The backpack that everybody has. I bought one of these for Hugo like two or three years ago. He loves his backpack so much. I got him the full size one that has like the laptop holder and everything. He's obsessed, he brings it everywhere, he uses it for everything. And so I was like, shit, I want a backpack. I want a nice backpack. So I got a mini little pastel lilac one. Since the backpack is normally 70, I got it for 52, which is still kind of expensive for a backpack, especially of this size, but the quality is really good and it's super cute. This next one is another favorite from like the entire haul. So this is like a sweater jacket sort of thing. Um, very, very cozy. Where is the sleeve? What, what am I doing here? I feel like it looks a little underwhelming on camera, but it is so soft, you guys. I wish you could feel it. Let me get up in here so you guys can see the softness because you can see it, you can see. Um, this is amazing. I kind of like the texture on it or it kind of looks like inside out, if that makes sense. Um, I live in this now. I wear this around the house all the time. It is so comfortable. I like the hood. Feels like a warm robe sort of vibe. I don't know how to explain it. If you're looking for something cozy, just to like toss on something really casual, this is amazing. This would also be another really good gift because it is so soft and cozy. I'm obsessed. I'm really glad I got this one. I was a little iffy about it at first, but ooh, it's so nice. Also got this little ribbed bra top. I wore it with the Hello Kitty pullover and there's like all these little pink fuzzies on it now, but um, I shared this same bra top in like a hot pink color on one of my vlogs, I think. Um, but I got this on sale for, what was it? Like 16, 13 bucks, I don't know. Um, I love these, these are so comfortable. Like I said, I have it in one other color and I am going to collect them all, I've decided, because they're just so comfy to throw on. They're good for like very light, like low impact sort of workouts. Wearing it out is just like a little, little crop tank. I just, oh, I love them. They're very comfortable and very cute. And the last item that I have um, is also some jeans. Got a lot of jeans, you guys. These are from Urban Outfitters. These are the Levi's Wedgies um, in 27. I thought these had a more specific name. These are the wedgie high rise, snug through hip and thigh tapered leg. I don't know. Um, I follow this girl on Instagram and she posted a picture in these pants and her butt looked amazing. So suddenly I was like, oh my God, what are those pants? They're actually the wedgie like shut up style or whatever, but they were sold out everywhere. I'm assuming because of her amazing butt. 
um, sold them out. So I just got the regular wedgie. I will be going back for the same exact style that she has because Jesus Christ. Um, but let me just tell you, my butt looks great in these. They're very cute. Um, they are tapered at the legs, so they're not like super wide, super baggy. They fit my thighs really well. I really love them. Um, I actually don't own any Levi's jeans if you can believe it. So this is my first and I think I'm a changed woman now. I think I need like 50 more. But that <laughs> finally wraps up my Black Friday haul. I know it was lengthy. Um, the only thing that I didn't include are the pots and pans that I got from Caraway Cookware. Um, they had a really good discount. It was like $150 off on their pan set. Um, I haven't opened them. I'm honestly going to wait to use them until we move because I'm very excited about them. Uh, I didn't lift them up upstairs because the box is freaking heavy, you guys. Um, but I did get those pans. Very excited about them. It was a good deal. And I also did get one more pan. I think it's from our place. It's like the everyday pan or something. I don't even remember what it was called. I will link it in the description box again. But it hasn't come in yet. It is like super back ordered. I think it ships after Christmas. Um, so again, I'm kind of waiting for that pan to get here and then I'm saving it until we move because I'm crazy. So those are the only two things that I didn't show. But as you can see, I have a few returns to make from this haul, but I did. I did get some good finds. I'm very excited about them. Some cozy stuff, some new jeans, some jackets, fun things, journals, all the goods. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.